During All the right. week, Will actually gave us some homework. Yes, and that I was about to interject. Oh, was yeah. to build a PS3 collection with two hundred dollars, and you get, you get ten games. So we used price charting to build our PS3 collections. Oh yeah. Yes. So so here's here, here's here, here's the gist of it. Two hundred bucks, PS3 starter collection. Uh, let's see what you got. Ten games. Uh, who, which one? Uh, I, so I, I gave these guys got some homework. Uh, I, I got my list right here. Um, so who wants to go first? Dixie? Will, you take it away. All right. I want well, to see gonna, your games. It's your right, idea. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go first. All right. So um, 200 bucks. All right. So the first game on my list is uh, Marvel. I, we try we try to keep these uh we try to get g- across all genres on this so I try to touch on a little bit of everything so my first game is Marvel versus Capcom 3 just because uh it's a good fighting game man you can't beat man, this franchise hold on oh, fucking shit there we go Marvel versus Capcom 3 great franchise uh this game retail let me see what is it uh 12 bucks nice. it's very inexpensive great game Great uh, franchise. Highly suggest it. I noticed price charting prices are a little bit cheaper than some of the actual prices, but um, I just went with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the next game on my list was... Oh, wait. Oh, Mori. How did this get in there? <laughs> wait, hold on. You have that one, too? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Mori. Okay, but anyway, no, seriously, uh, getting back to it. Now, this game, it might be cheating, uh, but I, I I I covered a lot of games on this one. So we got uh, Capcom Essentials. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't get the glare on there. And this one has uh, uh, Resident Evil Six and Dead Risings. There's a there's a couple out there with uh, with multiple games. I've seen them with uh, uh, Devil May Cry Four. Uh, um, also with uh, Mega Man Ten. Yeah, I'll uh, actually count you on that. Will it's actually one pack, and it it's originally sold as a double pack. And of course, yeah. Ricky's going to bring it out now, and it comes with a T-shirt as well, as well. I yeah, yeah. Either a T-shirt or like a bag. So the games themselves are still sealed, but this one is the one that you got, well, with Resident yeah. 6 and Dead Rising Two. Oh um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, you're right. It says not for resale right there. Yeah, um, I got I got a half-ass piece of shit here, but uh, yeah, this thing. I feel, uh, I feel left out, guys. This thing, <laughs> this thing runs for eighteen bucks. 18 bucks is what it was uh, price charting for, but uh, yeah, you, you, you kill you c- kill a couple birds with this one so I'll stone. Throw my sealed one up in the chat. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you guys. All right, you have, <laughs> you'll have your fucking turn. I fucking sat here and listened to you fucking rant about yeah, your goddamn you know, double we, triple pack from goddamn fucking Italian WalMarts and shit. Fuck off. Sit down. Shut up. It's my fucking turn, assholes. And then here's the other one. As fuck a off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next on, my, <laughs> next on hey, my Billy. list. Nice to see you, man. Good day, figs. Uh, next on my list is Afro Samurai. Oh, and look. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look, Fixie. Look, it's a slip cover. I know you how much you love your slip covers. <laughs> look at that. Look at this Not shit. just any. Oh, that's look at it rising. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. There's the Afro Samurai. Afro Samurai. What is that clocking in at? Uh, 28 bucks. I don't think we can do better than that. Come on, boys. Let's get that one up. Uh, so, uh, shooter. Not a first-person shooter, but uh, uh, here we go. Uh, House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. This game is fucking great. It's hilarious. Grab yourself a move gun, uh, a move a controller. Grab yourself one of the little move guns. This is a fucking good time. And that will set you back. Uh, where is it? 29 bucks? Really? Oh, shit. 29 bucks. I'll be posting it for sale uh, later this week. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> uh, another game, the Figs. This is one of your favorites. Demon Souls. Demon Ooh. Souls. Uh, good. It's a, it's a good RPG. It's fucking uh, th- this game. Th- this game literally started its own genre, I would say. Uh, the, I recall so- you saying yesterday, Will, that we only picked one game that was the same. I think we yeah. picked two that was the same because I've got this on my list as well. <laughs> uh, well, Demon Souls, I mean, it's it, it's fourteen bucks and for the black label, and you, you you can't beat that. I mean, it's a fucking this this game is a landmark game, and it's a that's it's, where it's it all a, started. 
it's a good time. So Team and Souls. What else do I got in my hair? Next we got a puzzle game. Katamari Forever. Yeah. I, I almost put that on my list. It's 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 fucking it's it's a weird it's it's a weird Japanese game. And you know what? I like Japanese shit. I like weird shit. Fucking two birds with one stone. So I highly suggest that one. Katamari Forever. Uh, next on my list, I got um, this is a this is my RPG or JRPG entry, and it's a uh, everybody. It's 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 probably one of the easiest JRPGs to get into, and it's oh, uh, Nino, yeah. level Nino, five, Nino Cooney, and it's very inexpensive. It's an eight dollar game. Uh, I highly suggest it, um, Nino Cooney, for your um, PlayStation 4, three starter a collector set. Uh, also, uh, I picked uh, this game. This is a personal favorite, and it's a little, it's probably the, uh, yeah, this is the priciest game on my list. And it is, there, there we go. Under Defeat Deluxe Edition HD. The only physical shooter released uh, for the NTSC region for North America. Uh, hell, is, grab it. The and only look, shmup, I think, is what it's called, you know? Shmup, shoot em up. I hate it's that. It's a term. bunch of fun, too. I, I there you go. It. It, it, it's a, it's a little weird because it's at an angle and but it, yeah and it comes with a one of the few games with the flap 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 you know the ones that the uh, those uh, bastards ripping us off with these fucking reprints are fucking the dual disc cases you know there you go uh, one I uh, actually got two more games uh, just cover my cover the sports NBA Jam that's the jam. That's my jam right there. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe uh, no no matter what video game system you collect for, you can find this game, and it's fucking – it's just great. It's a good time. Everybody and anybody from uh, who's from this era age, they get it. They love it. So NBA Jam. Uh, the last game on my list was uh, another cheating game. It was um, Black Ops uh, 1 and 2. I think my son took it over to my uh, uh, ex-wife's house because so, so, he's over there for the weekend. Uh, but I don't have it. But yeah, that covers FPS games, first-person shooters. But yeah, that's my uh, that's my stack. Uh, I didn't Fig- even think about doing cheating games like that. <laughs> as as Figsy does at the end of his at the end of his videos. Stack it up. There we go. And there's the uh, yeah, there's the stack. That go. was requested by Rasmus, so shout out to Ras for the um, stack it up. <laughs> oh shit! I almost, oh, oh my boy. god! Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Oh, and I hit I, I hit some button on my mouse. Okay, good. All right, there we go. All right, who's next? So I spent one hundred ninety-seven dollars and fifty cents on these ten PS3 games, wow. according to price charting, which would be a really good deal. Got a little bit. So more just to like Will. Need a little bit of NBA, and of course, there you NBA go. Jam is the one. Cheers. Um, like, this is arcade NBA. It's fun. You can't go past it. You can play it anytime. It's co-op. Um, like, you, you have to have a co-op title. Um, again, like Will, you need a fighting game. Um, this one was a little bit more pricey, but I think it's a really great pack because of what it contains, and that's Tekken Hybrid. Oh, I'm a big Tekken cool. fan, and my favorite Tekken game was actually Tekken Tag Tournament 1. So this doesn't just include that, it also includes the um, Tekken Blood Vengeance 3D and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So it is a really good pack to pick up. I believe it includes the movie as well. Yes. Yeah, that's one of the ones that's, one. Of, I think it's a hybrid disc, I want to say. Um, it's got the Tekken movie on it. Uh, next, I, I picked a puzzle game as well. Um, thinking back, there's probably another one um, that I may have chosen over this one, but price-wise, I couldn't fit it in my budget, so I had to go with the cheaper one, and that was Catherine. Mm, that sounds good. So at the end, I got to like 220 bucks and had to like shuffle a couple of games out. That's not an Atlas title in your country? Uh, it is an Atlas title. You can see on the back. Oh. But... Over here, it must have got uh, published by Deep Silver. Deep Silver. Yeah, it's hmm. weird. Australia got like, um, like Tales of Tierra 2 has NIS America and Atlas on it. Oh, weird. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. All right, so this one pretty much is a PS3 essential. You kind of can't go past it, especially at the price. 
and that's Journey, the collector's edition. This includes Flow, Flower, and is that it? Just the two Journey. of them? Yeah. And Journey. And, yeah, absolutely amazing. I've only played Journey. I've heard really good things about the other two games. But, um, yeah, it's definitely an essential PS3 title. Um, now I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 at the moment. So I couldn't go past Red Dead Redemption, the Game of the Year edition. Uh, for value for money, this is pretty much like you're getting so much value for money in this. It's not expensive to pick up. The Undead Nightmare DLC alone can sink, you can sink 50 to 100 hours into that easy. Uh, I'd love to see a remaster of this because um, I would enjoy playing this on the PS5, but nevertheless, it's an amazing title on PS3. Like Will, can't go past Demon Souls. There you go. Especially at that price. Um, with the PS5 release, the price of this one went down. Um, I personally sunk hundreds of hours into the original PS3 release. And yeah, this is where it all started for me Demon Souls on PS3. Uh, I wanted to get a couple of like essential hidden gems for the PS3 that are still cheap. Uh, so I went with Heavenly Sword. Uh, I think you can pick this one up for like five or ten bucks. Um, and it is a fantastic beat em up game. It is a little bit outdated, uh, but nevertheless, it's still a heap of fun. Um, so I threw this one in there. You can't say hidden gem, that's a trademark infringement. <laughs> uh, a game that needs a sequel, and I'm hearing number four is coming out. It hasn't dropped yet. And that, of course, is Skate 3. Yes. It is an amazing series, and Skate 3 is one of the best skateboarding games of all time. Uh, apparently, Skate 4 is coming. We get to see it, but um, until then, Skate 3 is where it's at. And now, um, Ricky actually showed this in a double pack, and it's a game that, um, I won't say that word, the, the H word, <laughs> but I think this is a heap of fun. I play it co-op with my friends all the time. And that is Skidoo Challenge. Uh, it is still a pretty cheap game. Uh, so I threw this in my essential PS3 list. Um, now, most of these titles came to, I think, 150 There was one expensive title I threw in there. This is about 50 bucks, And for a PS3 collector, this game, I cannot go past. I had to throw it in there. And that is 3D uh, game heroes. <laughs> Very nice. Wait, who's the publisher uh, on that one on, in your country? For us, we got South Peak Games. There's literally like six different developers on the back here. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Yeah, it's like a Zelda clone. Uh, as you progress through the game, your sword gets bigger, and it's just heaps and heaps of fun. Uh, so I highly recommend 3D.Game Heroes. So that is my stack, guys. Let's stack it up. There right, we go. Very nice. You got some uh, undiscovered jewels in there. Very nice. I gotta say, I really like that spine for Heavenly Sword. The red one, yeah, yeah it's nice, isn't it? It's got a pretty cool design, yeah. Better than what we have here. Damn. Ricky, All right, love Ricky. To hear your games. Ricky, you're up to bat. What you got? Yeah, so um unlike you guys, um I Demon Soul Demon Souls is not on my list. Um personally, that's not my kind of genre, that's not my kind of franchise. Um I've tried it on the PS3. <laughs> I just kept like I could not make it even past like the very like the initial like level, whatever that level is. I just kept falling in that like main pit, like right after you go up those stairs, right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that game's not for me. Um, Bloodborne on PS4, however, is amazing. I played that call with my friends. Just as a side note, um, that one's a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, getting into my list, uh, first one we have here is. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, the original one. This is my original copy. This is my first ever PS3 game. I sunk a lot of hours into this. <laughs> Zombies mode is where it's at. Well, yeah, I'm tired, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I just have to start off with this. Um, my first ever PS3 game, I got it Christmas of 2010 with my PS3 system. I just had so much fun with it. Uh, this it, this runs about eight dollars according to price charting. I feel like it's probably about like a five dollar title, but yeah, that's the first one. 
Of course, they're not in order. Let's flip the stack. Um, up next, another one that I sunk a lot of hours into is Dead Island. Um, this one's act, an action adventure game. Um, a lot of fun with this. Um, spent a lot of time co-op co -op with my friends um, back in the high school days. A lot of fun. Um, this one, according to price trading, is three dollars. Really, game. Th three bucks? I think it was like two ninety seven, which I was oh, like, wow. really surprised yeah. about. Yeah, I sit for five dollars everywhere here. You know. Exactly. And people um, aren't buying it at five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, up next. So I have the physical copy of it, obviously. I played it on PlayStation now um, because at the time this game was kind of going for stupid money with the store closure at that time. But we have Puppeteer. Oh. I got to say, I love this damn game. I think okay. I finished the story mode. I need to go back through and like get the collectibles and like platinum in and whatever. But it is a fantastic game. It's a really unique game. Uh, I think Japan Studio made this, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, really fun game. Um, this one is, goes for around sixty one dollars now. Really? Um, back in the store closure days, this jumped through the roof. I think. I had a copy. I think I had a couple of copies of this. One of them sold for $130. So, Ooh. yeah. Sorry to whoever bought that, but um, that yeah, was just times. <laughs> I've regularly sold copies of that for over $100. Yeah. Copies, Asian copies. So it's it's a sort after title these days. Let's, oh, hope yeah. T let's hope THC Nordic doesn't fucking reprint it. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, God. Up next, um, another, I guess, more expensive one, back-to-back -back kind of expensive ones, uh, Folklore. Personally, I haven't played this. Um, it covers the, I guess, the RPG category. Um, I'm not much of an RPG person. Um, I just don't have a lot of, like, hours to sink into the game. And when I do, when I get eventually get back to it, I'm going to forget what I was just doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's just me personally. But no, dude. I've heard nothing about this. It's kind of um, that curse word, a hidden gem. Uh, apparently, again, I haven't played it, but from what I hear, it's a great game. Undiscovered yeah, that, Jewel. That too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game, holy shit, I sunk so 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 many hours into is guitar hero warriors rock there we go this everybody everybody who plays guitar hero raves about guitar hero 3 <laughs> um as much as i love that as much as i love the soundtrack and all the songs in guitar hero 3 warriors rock beats it out the prime reason i don't know if you can do this anymore but on all the guitar hero games i think from world tour which is guitar hero 4 um onward up until this release on the back of the manuals you had this download code what this did again i don't know if it's still active if you entered this code um i don't know where you entered it um but basically you enter that code it gave you a download to download the entire previous game's soundtrack and import it into warriors of rock That's so cool. on top of oh, having really? DLC, you can import Again, so long as you have a valid code, you can import all of the songs from the previous games. So I did that for like Guitar Hero uh, World Tour, Van Halen, uh, Metallica, Guitar Hero Five, and I think Smash Hits as well. And Smash mm -hmm. Hits basically like the great, like the greatest hit, like the greatest hit songs of Guitar Hero One, Two, and Encore rocks the '80s from the PS2 era. Um, so that was like a lot of like cool like older songs that weren't released on newer Guitar Hero games that I was able to play on Warriors of Rock, which also... I didn't know that shit. That's cool. I loved Aerosmith. of the Guitar Hero games myself. <laughs> yeah, so me and my cousins, we logged a lot of hours in this game. Um, we used to have like a full... Because I got the full band uh, set up for Band Hero for one Christmas, so I had the drum. I, I still have it, the drums. I have a few guitars now, um, and it also came with a mic. Um, my cousin's grandfather built a mic stand, um, and my cousin would play the guitar and sing at the same time. I would be on the drums because I'm a drummer. I play the drums. Um, yes. And then my other cousin would play the bass. 
Um, so we would have like a full band set up, just the three of us and just rock out for hours and hours and hours on end, annoying my parents. <laughs> We're the guitar hero. So, so much fun with that. So many yes. great, great, great memories. <laughs> um, and that one apparently goes for 14 on average. That's decent. Yeah, but the guitars are like 80 bucks each. <laughs> yeah. I, the dongles more than the guitar. <laughs> yeah, the, the dongles more than, than the guitar. And it's funny because it's only the guitar that's like that. The drums that have a dongle, you can find those for cheap. It's like $15, $20. Yeah. The guitar. Unless I mean, you've got a box, yeah. then you're looking at like 400 bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, personally, I don't play a lot of sports games. Um, this is the only sports game that I basically owned um, when I was actively playing PS3. Um, Madden 12. Um, again, I'm not big, big, big into the sports games, but I had some fun with this. What game? Not, what, what, what kind of what sport is that? Football. Football. American football. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. just, American football. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. But yeah, that one goes for five. Um, up next, uh, we have Back to the Future, the Telltale series. Nice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Is my favorite Telltale game. Really, mine, mine too. Actually, I love it. Um, although I think it's going to shortly be topped by Sam and Max. Um, I played those on PS Now, and they are phenomenal games. They are absolutely hilarious, and they actually just recently remastered or remade them for the PS4. Um, so I think I'm going to buy them on the PS4. They're on the, they're available right now in the store. They're twenty dollars each. Um, I'm going to wait until that new PlayStation loyalty program thing comes out because apparently you get credit for buying stuff in the PSN store and that's supposed to come out on October 5th. So I'm going to wait a few days and then get credit for buying those towards like a next purchase or whatever that loyalty program is. So that's Back to the Future and that goes for about $23. Uh, the PS4 version used to go for a lot more. That's also like come yeah. down now. Um, I don't know if that got reprinted. Reprint controversies. Uh <laughs> But um, yeah, yeah. Um, up next we have God of War three. Um, yeah, phenomenal good. game. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's I love this game to death. Getting the platinum trophy for this was one of the hardest games that I did back in the day. Um, whatever the hard mode is was such a pain in the ass. I kept dying in like the last Zeus fight, and it was oh my god. I think I broke a controller. <laughs> Back in the day. Um, but yeah, that's God of War 3, and that goes for about $8. Oh, yeah. Um, up next, second to last game, we have MotorStorm. Again, this one I have not played personally, but all I hear is good things about this. Um, between this and Pacific Rift, apparently those two are great games. Um, again, Pacific Rift is brilliant. I've put a lot of time into that one. Is this so is this your entry into the racing genre? For racing, yeah. Um, I'm not too big on racing games. Um, with the Ubisoft servers shutting down on some of the older games, I went back through and played Driver, and I actually kind of enjoyed that, doing the multiplayer. I mean, yeah, it was just ma mainly boosting with people trying to get all the trophies before the service closed today, um, or I guess yesterday on the 1st. Um, but honestly, I, I, I actually had fun. And that was like, that was the first racing game that I played outside of like kart racers, like crash team racing and mod nation racers, um, which actually mod nation probably could have taken this place now and thinking about it. Mod nation was a phenomenal game. Mod nation um, is a shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I might go back to play this at some point. Cause I mean, I would, I would probably enjoy it. I like playing driver. That's a racing game, I guess you can say, um, yeah, we got that. Um, apparently that goes for six bucks on average. It seems kind of cheap, but, yeah. and the last one we have plants versus zombies. Um, really? I, I, I played a lot of this on my iPod back in the day. <laughs> so did I. I was going to say it's a fun game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but what I like about this I don't know if uh, it happened for you guys, uh, Figsy, but um, this comes with Peggle, which I don't like Peggle, but Heavy Weapon is also on disc. Heavy Weapon is such a great freaking game. I love that game to death. Me and my, me and one of my cousins, we played the shit out of that. Um, 
it's a lot of fun. Plants vs. Zombies is also a lot of fun. <laughs> Peggle, on the other hand, that, that game sucks. Fuck <laughs> you, I that? love Peggle, dude. I love that fucking shit. <laughs> Sorry, Will. <laughs> that one's actually an American exclusive. We only got really? uh, Garden really? Warfare. Yeah. Really? Wow. So, yeah. Plants vs. Zombies. Um, that one goes for about $20. That's what I paid for like really? six or seven years ago at GameStop. It's uh, it's always like stayed at twenty dollars. I don't really know why. But I think maybe the fact that it is a exclusive and people import it might have something to do with the price. Probably. Let's but, see yeah. that stack, Ricky. Let's let's see all the stacks. Stack it up. Well. Don't drop them, Will. <laughs> Oh my god. If you had two hundred dollars to spend on a PS3 collection, guys, this is what we would grab. Oh hold on. No, you know, fuck fuck. I'm already staying on top. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. A lot of good All stuff. Right. 